Hey guys, welcome back to Vinceville Customs. So today I'm sharing with you another red Sonia repaint that I did for somebody. Now this one has a little bit of extras compared to what I've done to the others in the past. Uh, he contacted me and he's uh, one of my regular clients and he wanted the skin tone to be a little bit lighter, uh, not a crazy shading and he just didn't want the zombie look uh, pretty much showing like it was, you know, the factory did. So Brighten up all the skin tone, redid the metal on her, redid the straps, redid the face, the hair, and we also did the EX head on him as well. So uh, we'll get a little bit closer with that. But as you can see, she's a little bit brighter now. Not a crazy shading. Uh, just more, um, I guess you could say, not pale, but just, you know, flesh tone and just uh, ran with it. Now the the frost giant head was actually a lot of fun to paint. That's pretty much what the main thing about the video is because I uh, had a little bit of fun with that. So uh, as you can see, what he wanted me to do was painted a blue skin with white hair, and basically we just ran with it. So uh, what I did was I added a I gave him a nice blue uh, flesh tone, and I added some interference blue onto him. So it actually gives it that frost look in different lights. Uh, get, you know, like a frosty skin. Of course, the beard is just, you know, uh, just a lot of grays and then a uh, dry brushed white all around it. Um, now, his eyes was like the fun part and the teeth was the fun part. Hopefully, we get a little bit closer here. So, as you can see, I did uh, Archifying Transfer Eyes on him, like I normally do with a lot of my stuff. And then what I did was for the dead eye, I actually did a clear coat of... Elmer's glue. Now I learned this trick from a friend of mine at uh, Jersey Fest, and that's why I always tell people go to Jersey Fest, go to Wonder Fest, meet people, talk to people, ask questions. You'll find out stuff that you never would have thought worked before, and it works out pretty cool. So he did a project where he was doing a zombie, and he used Elmer's glue over the eyes, and he kept doing layers, and it gave the eyes very milky look. And I was like, that's genius. It's awesome. So what I did is I used it for this statue here. So this eye is an archer fine decals in the eye, but what I did was I uh, used the Elmer's glue with a little bit of tint of yellow. I let it dry, used an air uh, blow dryer, and then I did another coat. You could kind of water it down a little bit and you could keep building up coats. I did a little bit thicker than normal and just kind of really built it up. And I did it on his teeth as well, just to give the teeth a little bit more uh, color and stuff. And it just worked out pretty cool. I thought it was a little fun project to do, and I just kind of wanted to share it with people that, you know, it's uh, you can take a head and you can just kind of change up the whole statue now with a frost head that's actually frosty than just kind of the way it was looking before. Um, like I said, he just asked me to do it, and we just ran with it. So uh, there you go. That's a quick video on a Red Sonya repaint. I don't have all the parts for her because it was just more or less skin tone and the hair and the EX head. It wasn't really uh, much else to do to her except, you know, cleaning up a lot of the armor too and everything like that because just ran with it. And I guess uh, one little extra touch is I put uh, green gems here. I put green gems up there. And uh, that's about it. Uh, one of the sad things though about it was this uh, horn actually came broken in the shipping. But what I did was I repaired it there and I repaired it here and I attached it back on there because it popped off. I guess maybe in customs or whatever it just got uh, smashed. But it all worked out pretty cool. So a simple little bit of repaint. Uh, really changes up the statue a lot. Uh, hopefully you guys like the video and we'll be back with more. So thanks for watching. 